All right, welcome to the White Mountain Cider Company. Uh, today we're going to be making strawberry rhubarb crisp. Uh, I got all my ingredients laid out right here. Fresh rhubarb, I got fresh strawberries, a little bit of sugar and cornstarch. I'm going to get the rhubarb in a non-reactive pan. Uh, doing that uh, is going to help retain a nice pink color on the rhubarb and it keeps it beautiful. Sugar, cornstarch. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna get a spoon, we're gonna stir this and uh, let this go on the stove and just simmer until the rhubarb just gets a little bit soft. Um, and from that point, we're gonna fold in fresh strawberries and we'll show you that a little later once this rhubarb's done. So we'll go over to the stove and get this off. I keep it on uh, about a medium heat. Um, to keep it on a high heat, it's gonna make the rhubarb mushy and you're gonna lose that nice, beautiful rhubarb. So you keep it on medium heat, um, just kinda let it do its thing. Uh, let it cook down until it gets pretty soft. Uh, and leave that alone, let it do its thing. We'll come back over here and we'll uh, work on the crisp topping while that's cooking. Uh, so our crisp topping, I got some uh, Quaker oats, brown sugar, yeah, brown sugar, white sugar, a little bit of our famous donut spice, some flour, and a little bit of butter. Mix those up by hand. That's what makes this the fun part of the job. You get to go right in there with your hands. Uh, but I am going to use gloves, of course. In the restaurant, uh, this is our quick way of making a crisp. So at home, uh, generally what you would do is you'd make all your crisp ingredients, so your fruit um, and your sugar and your cornstarch, and you put that in the bottom of your pan. Um, when we do it in the restaurant, we make that filling up ahead of time and we make this crisp topping up ahead of time so that when we get an order for it, um, all we have to do is put the fruit in the dish and put the topping on the top and just put it in the oven just to warm up. Um, and it comes out to you, nice and piping hot. So you can see how this is all kind of coming together. Butter's really getting nice and in there. Um, all the spices. That's it. That's the crisp topping. Um, we're going to let that rhubarb cook down uh, and we'll be right back uh, we'll assemble this whole dessert we're going to top it with some homemade pistachio ice cream. Stick around. Alright, welcome back. Uh, we're going to finish up our strubar, uh, strawberry rhubarb crisp. I got my rhubarb here. It's already cooled down. You can see some of the bigger chunks. They are cooked all the way through. As you can see I can just cut through like that. But visually, you got some that's kind of mashed and some that are chunky. And it's great texture uh, in the crisp. So we're just going to put this in the bowl. We're going to add in our fresh strawberries. I think that's what makes the crisp uh, is having the fresh strawberries. Okay. And at home, you can follow this very same procedure um, and have it all ready to go if you're doing a dinner party um, or even for Mother's Day. Uh, you can have your rhubarb already cooked, add in your nice fresh strawberries, just like this, okay? And have your crisp topping already done, um, and this is going to, you know, make the best, best crisp, okay? So we got all the strawberries, nice, beautiful, mixed in there, okay? Put a little in our dish here. Top it with our, uh, some of our baked crisp uh, topping. Um, so earlier I didn't tell you how to bake the crisp. Um, we just put this on a sheet pan uh, in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes um, and it comes out uh, nice and beautiful crisp topic just like that. Okay. We'll top this. I like to leave a little um, on the side so you can actually see the strawberries and the rhubarb so that people know what they're eating. All right, and It's good color. All right, We're just going to pop that right in the oven. Uh, for about five to six minutes. I've already got one here, ready to go. 
the back. We got some homemade uh, pistachio ice cream. Uh, but you can simply serve it with some nice vanilla ice cream. Uh, but this, the pistachios go really good with this dessert. Get a nice scoop of that. Okay, and we serve it just like that. Um, strawberry rhubarb crisp, homemade pistachio ice cream. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.